And so I just want to go over these scenarios real quickly. I'm not going to go over every one in this packet, but I'm just going to go over a couple in this packet and then you can look at the rest of them and find out which one you're closest to. Um, but it's very important to begin thinking about your scores, how your scores are going to work out. So as you're thinking about the test, you can go confidently there and take the test. So let's do the first page here, this first scenario. This person scores a 440 on their science. They score 480 on their social studies. They score 430 on their reading. They score 410 on math. And then a 470 combined on their writing an essay for an average score of 446. So does this person pass? No. no. They miss it by the skin of their teeth, right? Because you have to have an average score of 450, and you cannot have any score below 410. So this person here actually passes each test, right? Um, they're actually a pretty average reader, have average reading skills. The average score is 450. So if you're scoring over 450, that's a little bit above average. This is right on the borderline. And then this is a little bit below average. Um, they're above average on writing an essay, so they probably had a pretty decent essay. And they probably uh, you know, did well in the multiple choice section. And then on math, you know, they have limited math skills. They're, they're, they're just barely uh, squeaking by here. So what this person is going to want to do is that they're just going to exclusively focus on math. Okay? They don't need to worry about anything else. They need to just really hone in on math because if they can get their math score up to even just the 430, if they can get their math score up to even just 430, that's probably getting two, three more questions right, maybe four more questions right on the test. Just a little bit, then this person is going to have all they need to cross over to the 450 average, okay? So again, so if your scores, if your, if your reading scores are pretty decent, your, your, your writing is okay, a little bit above average, but your math is there, then all you have to do is focus just specifically on math. So what does that mean, focus on math? Well, what you're gonna have to do is focus on maybe one or two math skills, right? So you're probably gonna have to look at fractions or percents or ratio and proportions or basic shape measurement, uh, some of those basic skills that, that we use to answer the test questions of the GED, okay? So that's one scenario. So this is a failing scenario, and this is probably the most common scenario in this class. It's a person who has average reading skills, barely scraping by on math, and can write an essay that's passable. So now let's go ahead and look at a passing scenario. So if you can turn with me to uh, page four. So this person has a 420 on science. They have a 410 on social studies. They have a 430 on reading. They have a 590 on math. And they have a 410 on writing an essay and they have an average score of 452. Okay? Does this person pass? Yeah. Yeah. They do. Because they don't have any score below 410 and they just barely make it over with a 452 average. So this is also a scenario. So this is a person who has weaker reading skills. They don't do well at reading, right? but they get enough to pass the 410 mark. This is a person who does well at math, has higher math skills, and so does well at math, and then just barely squeaks by on the writing and essay. So this is a person who has barely enough to pass um, the writing and, and doesn't do all that great on the reading, um, but because they have some higher math skills, they're still able to squeak past. So again, so the whole focus of this is really knowing where your strengths are and you find that out on the practice test. 
and then from there deciding which areas you need to work on individually to get yourself over the hump to get to this 450 score and having those tests below 410. And when you look at it this way, so, so here's the power of looking at it this way, is that it really allows you to focus your time here. So if you know that you only need to get maybe two or three more right to maybe bump your social studies score up or maybe to bump your essay up, um, then that allows you to focus on maybe one or two skills to really get good at. And then that's going to give you the extra you need to, to bump your score up, right? So if you're really looking at it in terms of how many more do I need to get right, then looking at it from this point of view is really going to help you to know exactly what you need to do. And then you can break it down. So instead of just looking at math as a whole and saying, well, I have to look at this math book and know a little bit about everything, you can really focus on three or four skills and get what you need. Or on the essay, for example, you know, instead of, or, or the, the, the essay and writing is combined, so instead of just really trying to focus on all the grammar skills that you've learned from the time you started school until this point in life, maybe what you can do is look at your essay and say, okay, can I get the five paragraph essay down? Right? Can I learn the elements that go into that? And maybe that's the best use of my time. So it really allows you to take a look at how quick you want to get this done and then what is the best thing to focus on in the time that you have uh, that, that you've given yourself to get the test done. Make sense? All right, so June's coming up. So you all want to be looking at your scores. That's why you have your folders. So you want to be reviewing this information, looking at your scores. So you want to be thinking about, well, what do I need to do to get ready for the test in June? So if your issue is math, you know, you want to figure out what are the scores or, or, or what are the subject matters that I need to be focusing on in math, one or two of them. You know, if essay is kind of holding you back, then you want to be thinking about what are the elements of the essay that I need to really focus on to get my essay score up. Reading, maybe there's a couple reading skills like implication or comprehension. Uh, inference that maybe you can pick up to help you to be able to answer a few more of these questions correctly, get the score you need. Any questions?